Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and welcome back to another Class of Fridays. This time we are looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Gabriel Barbecue Kelly. This is G.I. Joe's Firefighter, and this is a figure I'm very surprised to see. Yes, Barbecue has a following, and some fans even consider him to be their favorite character, but Barbecue was never a main character aside from maybe a couple episodes of the animated series. We are getting pretty deep into the roster if we have a Barbecue 6-inch figure. Let's look at the packaging. We have the window pane showing the figure and the accessories. This is in the Special Mission Cobra Island Target exclusive set. We have the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo, and his name is Gabriel Barbecue Kelly. There's some nice artwork on the front of the box that continues to the side with some cool flame and ember effects, which shows he is a firefighter. He is number 32 in the Classified Series, and on the back, we have the generic Cobra Island artwork. On this side of the box, we have the symbols that represent his specialties. This one means he prefers Captain America's first shield. This is one of those electronic turkey carving knives. This one means his favorite Muppet is Beaker. And this one means he is in possession of Marcellus Wallace's briefcase. Let's pull out the figure and take a look at it. Here is classified barbecue out of the packaging and I'm going to stand him next to a vintage barbecue figure from 1985 and you can see this is a very faithful update of the vintage figure. The details are all mostly the same, the colors match very well, and even the accessories are mostly updates of the vintage accessories. I'm very impressed with the work they did on this classified figure. Looking at those accessories, he includes a long axe with a silver blade. That looks really nice, really wicked. That's the perfect accessory for a firefighter. In addition to that, he has this smaller hatchet also with a silver blade, but also with a silver spiked knuckle guard. This one is closer to the vintage accessory, but updated. I like this a lot. That hatchet can hook on this clip on the right leg. At least, I guess that's how it goes. There are no instructions with this figure. On the left side, he has this gun-looking thing with a hose that connects to the backpack. This looks like a gun, but it's actually a nozzle for spraying fire-retardant materials. He puts out fires. He doesn't start them. This is another callback to that vintage figure, which had an accessory that looked almost the same, served the same function, and connected to the backpack in exactly the same way. If you pull that nozzle out of his left hand, and it is a tight fit, so he grips it very well, there is a holster on that left leg, and you can fit that nozzle in the holster, so he has storage for that accessory. That is yet another feature copied from the vintage figure, which had a tab on the left leg for connecting that nozzle. There is a black soft plastic hose that connects to a peg on the back of the nozzle and the other end connects to a peg on the left side of the backpack. Uh, it does fit on there very securely, more securely than the hose on the vintage figure, but it does connect exactly the same way the vintage accessories did. The backpack is in a base dark gray plastic color with orange painted canisters and some additional warnings painted on the center one. This is a single piece backpack rather than the two piece accessory on the vintage figure. It has that peg for the hose on one side and on the other side Side, it has a clip and that clip can fit the axe. I think that's how this goes. Again, there are no instructions with this figure, but you can store the axe that way, and that means barbecue can holster all of his accessories. The backpack pegs onto the figure with this peg that fits in a hole on the figure's back, and that fits pretty securely. That's pretty standard. Here it is side by side with the vintage backpack, and you can see it's not exactly the same, but it is a nice update. With the accessories out of the way, let's take a look at the articulation on this figure. He has almost standard classified articulation. It's a little bit different, but not very much. He has a very nicely articulated neck with articulation at the base of the neck and at the base of the skull with the ball joint and the hinge, so an excellent range of motion on the head. His arm will swing up at the shoulder. Pretty good range of motion that is not hindered by this vest piece. He will also swivel at the shoulder all the way around. There is a twist at the upper arm at the top of the bicep. He has double joint elbows. He has a twist at the wrist, but it does not look like he has hinges at the wrist, so that's a little bit different. He has an ab crunch, but that is hindered by this vest piece. He still twists pretty well at the torso. He's got a good leg split. 
You have to pop his legs back in their sockets when you move them back, but his leg can move forward very well, back not quite so much. He has a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. He has a boot cut. He also has hinged and rocker ankles. Let's take a look at the details on this figure, and these details are impressive. This figure is making me enjoy a barbecue action figure. The helmet is not removable. The details are nice, but for an updated barbecue figure, I would have been happy to have a removable helmet. The vintage figure also had a non-removable helmet, so it's no worse than the vintage figure. But hey, this is updated six inch scale, so an alternate head or a removable helmet would have been nice. In the animated series, Series, he had his helmet off, so another head that had a resemblance to the animated appearance would have been a really nice update. The chest has details that are very similar to the vintage figure. It is in gray, black, and red. That chest is more of a red color than the base orange plastic of the figure, and that is a vest piece that is over the figure itself, so those details are not sculpted directly onto the figure. And I do like this way of adding details it does add dimension to the figure, although it does impede the articulation, as I pointed out before. He has orange arms with gray shoulder pads. He has some black bands around the arms and a pouch on the left arm. He has black and red gloves. That looks really good, but my favorite detail on this figure is this silver paint tampo on the right arm. That symbol there is taken directly from the vintage figure, and this is beautiful. This is why I am enjoying the Classified series so much. These small, subtle callbacks to the vintage era, this easily could have been overlooked, but they did not overlook it. The lower half of the figure is a bit more plain in comparison to the top half, but it's fine. It gets the job done and it has some details. He's got these bands around his upper legs for holstering the nozzle and the hatchet. Those are separate pieces. You could remove those. He has orange legs and red knee pads. And and some black boots. What a fascinating figure. And I say this not because I'm a barbecue fan. I'm not. And certainly not because this is my favorite classified figure. I don't think this would even be in the top 10. It may not even be in the top 20. But this is a niche character. There are some G.I. Joe fans that will love this figure. But this is not a main character. This is not Duke. This is not Snake Eyes. This is barbecue. We're getting pretty far down the list of G.I. Joe characters for barbecue. And yet a lot lot of effort and attention went into this figure. I have to applaud the G.I. Joe classified team. Credit where it's due. Well done, Hasbro. Even so, we should be able to take that helmet off. I should be able to see Barbecue's face. That is my biggest knock on this figure. That was my review of the G.I. Joe classified series Special Mission Cobra Island Gabriel Barbecue Kelly action figure. I hope you enjoyed it. As long as they continue to give us G.I. Joe classified series figures, we will continue to do Class of Fridays every Friday on this channel. Please subscribe to this channel for vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. I have a huge back catalog of vintage G.I. Joe reviews. Please check those out. Support the channel on Patreon so I can continue doing these videos. You can find me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. Thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with another G.I. Joe toy review. Until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.